Today I'm going to show you how to make this really difficult shape in SketchUp Free. So let's get started. This is Fuzzy Tutorials and I'm Fuzzy D. So this is the shape I'm going to show you how to make today. We're not going to go into a lot of detail. I'm just going to take you through this pretty quick. This is kind of a preview of some of my upcoming tutorials that I'm going to be doing in SketchUp. But I just learned how to do this today, so I was really excited. So we're going to delete that. And we're going to go into our scenes and we're going to pick an overhead view. It just makes it a little easier to get started. Then we're going to start off drawing a rectangle, which is going to be 12 inches by 12 inches. If you look in the lower right hand corner, you'll see I'm just typing it directly into the dimension box. Uh, don't try to click on that box or you'll mess it up. Just start typing. And we're just moving it and make it a little easier to work with. And now I'm going to draw a couple of straight lines that are uh, two inches long. And they're both coming from this corner. And you'll see why we need this in a minute. It gives us some points for our arc. I'm using the arc tool, tool kit or, or the arc tool. And what I'm double clicking, this is very important, you gotta double click this. And now when I go double click in the other corners, it'll repeat the same thing and do the cut for me. So boom, double click, double click, double click. And then I just go erase the leftovers that I started with there real quick. Okay, so now we're going to uh, change angles. Now you notice I'm using a lot of shortcuts here to get these tools. Uh, I've been using SketchUp now for a couple of weeks. Uh, those of you who watched it before uh, knew that I, or watched some of my previous videos, you knew that I was having to learn SketchUp so that I could organize my office properly for my new desk. So if you've been watching, you'll see that I've com completed that and I'm just about ready to uh, get that all fixed up. But that's why I, you're not seeing my face today because my office still looks like a bomb hit it. <laughs> but hopefully that'll be fixed here pretty quick. So now I'm just uh, creating this little shape here that I'm gonna use for the follow me tool. So we're just gonna select the, the main shape that we've first created and then the follow me and we're gonna pop that around the whole path there okay now we're just zooming out a little bit and changing the angle now you notice it left a lot of artifacts and stuff here so we're just going to delete these so we're, we can just select each little plane corner there and get rid of those and we also need to get rid of the side and then we're going to triple click this line here and delete that. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. So now we're going to pick an edge and we're just going to draw a straight line and this will heal or sorry, it won't heal. Um, so we're just going to draw a straight line. And this is going to uh, create our top. And it's got to be right on the line. As soon as you draw it, it, it creates your top for you. Now we're going to take this and we're going to uh, push pull uh, three inches. That gives us a total of half the height of our cube. So now we're just making some adjustments so that we can work with it a little better here. And then we're going to uh, use the rotate tool, which is Q on the uh, keyboard. And we're going to rotate this, but we're going to use the modifier key to create a copy. So you just hit the option key and then this will make a copy instead of just rotating it. And it's going to plunk it on top just like that. And now we're pretty much there. We just got a couple last little things to do that those two faces that went on top of each other, we've got to delete those. So we're just going to select those and hit the delete key. And then we've got a couple little artifacts from that little line that we made to be able to uh, heal the top. So we've just got to delete these little artifacts because it kind of cut the faces as we as we made it. Okay. So 
So now we're just going to go into our look tool or view tool. I'm going to turn on the smooth edges and the soft and cold planer. If you enjoyed what we did today, make sure you click that like and subscribe and that notification bell so you don't miss the tutorials I've got upcoming on this. I'm going to start with an introduction, how to uh, start using it and the basics, and we'll go from there. So thanks for hanging out with us today, and we'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.